have a question for Jay. Homer has it, you're planning a comeback. Is that true or not? Dexter Jackson starting those rumors. <laughs> you, you know, it's funny you say that. I, I mean, I, I honestly, um, I don't really have intentions of stepping on stage. I always, you know, have these fans that always write into me and through social media channels, I'm active on all, all the channels. But um, I know a lot of fans kind of live in the past and they want to see their favorite bodybuilder get up on stage. And, you know, like I said, th a lot of things have evolved. And, you know, that was actually going to be my next question, um, which I wanted to bring back to Dexter, is... Now, me being 43, I've stepped away from the stage. I stepped away at 40. It got a little more difficult to get um, where I needed to be when it came to competition uh, season. And the roundness of the muscle seems to disappear. Now, someone like Dexter Jackson um, hasn't really experienced as much as the other guys do at, at a certain age. Um, I want to know like, what it takes, you know, even as myself. I look at myself almost as a fan of Dexter Jackson now. You know, continue at your age to do what you do. Does it get harder? What do you do differently? Um, I know, you know, bodybuilding is so routine. You know, you go to the gym every day, you diet, you know, how do the foods change? How's the diet, how's the training change so much to be able to make you into what you present now on stage, which a lot of people view as some of the best Jack Dexter Jackson looks we've seen. And I, it intrigues a lot of people and it intrigues myself how you continue to do what I ask you every time I see you, how do you keep doing it? And you seem to be having fun doing it. I think that's the most important thing. So, you know, kind of fill everyone in on you know really what you're doing differently from you know when we started competing together in 1999 olympia i think was our first together what is it like now at your age to be able to stand up on the olympia stage you were second last year you thought you should have won a lot of people thought the same thing you know is it much different than it was when you first started and when you won the mr olympia competition i know you know you're training in la now and you know you reside in jacksonville but what is it like being away from home being away from your element now planting yourself in, in LA, being in the Mecca of bodybuilding, seeing all the people come in and out and giving encouragement now, be it placed in second, is, how does it feel, you know, to have like kind of a, a revive of your career to be Mr. Olympia again? It's been a journey for sure. Um, I think this is my 17th uh, year as a pro. And um, but I'm still having fun, like you said. Um, that's the main thing. If if the fun goes, if the the hunger goes, then that's when it's time for me to go. But as long as the, as the hunger's there, and I want to train, and I train heavy and hard, no injuries, which is what it's all about. You get no injuries, and I'm, I've been injury free for my whole career. Never been injured. So as long as all of that's there, and I'm continue to train hard and all that stuff, then I, I don't see no retiring right now you know I've, I've given myself three years or two years many times before in the past as you have but um it never pan out that way i always in a winning show here winning show there and placing in the top and now i'm still back in the mix again and it's like well i can't leave now you know what i'm saying i know that day's coming but as of right now i have no plans on retiring for the next two years okay um and coming up it was it was you know, of course, you know you had to train hard and heavy, you know, all these compound movements and all that stuff, you know, but as you get older, you have to learn how to make adjustments. So as I started getting older, I had to step away from all those compound movements and start doing more machine work. So that's when I started working with Charles Glass. And a lot of people, you know, guys don't, don't ever think you can't get big off of machines. I'm, I've proven that to everybody. I've trained with Charles Glass. That's all we do now is machine work. I'm bigger and heavier than I've ever been in my life. You know what I'm saying? So don't get it twisted. You gotta start with it in the first few years of your career. Of course, you need heavy and compound movements. But as you get older, you gotta learn how to make adjustments. And um, that's taking you know all the emphasis off your joints when you do more machine work and all that good stuff. So um, <clears throat> that's one of the reasons. Um, you know, training smart um, and eating. You know, I got with George Fair, and. If you guys know me, you've seen in the videos, I'm a big Popeye's fan. I love to eat Popeye's chicken. Okay, so, so but on off season, as I got older, you know, I would, I would diet and not take any food with me. And when I get in the airport, I just pig out and, and then go to the show and win. But now it's, I'm, that I'm older, you know, I have to be more smart, you know. So in the off season now, I eat clean on the off season, pretty much diet the whole year. I usually eat clean on the off season, eat one cheat meal per day. Rest of my meals are clean. The other five are clean, so that keeps me in good shape and not getting out of shape or what have you. Um, and and the clean food and the amounts of clean food that George feeds me is needed because 
um, my metabolism is so fast, I have to eat more food to stay full. So, you know, I trust me, I hate eating all this food, but I have to do it. I, not, now, that's one thing I can't wait to do. When I retire, I can't wait to just eat twice a day. I'm so sick. I'm so sick of eating all this food. But um, it is what it is. We have to do what we got to do. You know, this is what makes a champion. And eating all this damn food, <laughs> got to do it. So, um, yeah, so those are the reasons I continue to do what I do, Jay. I continue to, you know, get better because I train smart, eat clean on off season, eat a lot of food. Because when I was young, I was a big Labrada fan, and Labrada lived off of shakes. So I pretty much followed what he did. I, I could eat. I think I would drink five shakes a day, eat only two meals. So I was huge in the shakes, but now everything is reversed. I need more food and more clean food in order to continue to look like I normally do. So basically you're saying to everyone out there that you eat more food at your age now than you ever did yes. training for any Olympia. It's amazing. All right, so Giuliani, you, you train at probably one of the best gyms in the country at Bad Francis Powerhouse. Um, you know, what gym did you come from before that? And a lot of the, the people out there don't get to see a lot of the, how the women train and, and the, what they do and what goes into being a physique competitor um, and being obviously Mr. Olympia, Miss, Miss Olympia level. So what is it like training at that gym and being able to um, be around that atmosphere compared to where you came from and, and what your original goal was? Because you competed in, in a different division when you started. You were in figure competitions. So, I mean, how has that changed? You know, give kind of the viewers out there the change in how you had to train. Obviously, they're looking for round muscle, um, not as much crazy definition, but still enough um, without putting it over the edge that women's bodybuilding might have had. So, w were you influenced really to go into more physique because it was just leading in that way? Were you building your body past the point of, of uh, you know, how you actually were in competition or, you know, what really drove you to become, you know, a physique competitor rather than a figure competitor? Jay, what did that was my body. I didn't fit the criteria for figure in the United States. I won the IFBB Amateur World Championship in figure, but in Europe, what's the criteria is a little different. So I came from overall winner and I did my first uh, figure show. I didn't place uh, top 15, so it was very frustrating for me. And I did 15 figure shows trying to fit in the criteria, but I never did. Um, it was very disappointing, but I have such a, a heart for this, and I'm so determined to win. And I always believe that I could be a Miss Olympia. I always believe my potential, and I, I never gave up. When the physique, when they create the physique, um, I thought, and many other people thought, would be a better fit for me and I could do very well in that. So I tried and definitely was a perfect fit for my body type. And talk about Bad Friends Powerhouse Gym, it's just um, amazing to train there, to train around a lot of champions. The atmosphere, everybody who goes there and trains there independent, if it's an athlete, if it's an older woman, an older man, a younger, they all have the heart, they train really hard, it's motivating. And it's just a great atmosphere. Everybody is very friendly. I feel great in that gym. Give me so much more confidence to go through the competitions. I used to train in Brazil in a small gym. And it was good too. But when I moved to the United States, I trained at uh, Power Fitness. It was another small gym in Syosset. But when I made the change to Bad Friends, everything became better. I became more confident and things happened to me. It's great. All right, so Jeremy, you're, you're training now. I see a lot of uh, your social stuff out there, and I see you posing like a bodybuilder, a lot of shots, you know, and that's, you know, men's physique, you know, you figure you guys have your certain poses, but I see you hitting most musculars, front double biceps. So you came from a bodybuilding background, uh, you know, the transition over, you know, how was that transition? And, and, you know, for those guys out there that are maybe looking for a division, I know it's hard to choose between uh, physique and now uh, men's physique, um, classic, between classic and men's physique. What do you think um, the difference is uh, with how you train? And is your heart still in bodybuilding? Do you, do you train pretty much like a bodybuilder? I know a lot of people see the social out there, but kind of explain like that transition was for you. I mean, yeah, I competed in bodybuilding since I was 17 years old, so I definitely have a heart for bodybuilding. I love the sport. still follow it very closely. Um, 
As far as posing, I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed posing. That's one of the aspects I miss about switching to divisions is the, we're not able to hit the bodybuilding poses anymore. So the new division, I mean, it's awesome. I'm staying where I'm at right now in the men's physique, but, you know, possibly in the near future, it's a possibility to transition over. Um, as far as the difference between the two divisions, I mean, the guys are definitely a lot harder from the ones I've seen that are placed in top five in the Classic. Um, the muscle maturity is something that I've seen is a big difference. A lot of the older guys are doing really well, and that's just years and years and years of training, I feel. Um, but also, like I go back to conditioning, the level of conditioning in the legs and everything is something that separates the divisions a lot. I saw a lot of guys on stage that were former physique competitors switching over to Classic, and they're just lacking big time on the legs compared to the bodybuilders that are dropping down to the Classic division. And that's, that's the differentiating factor, I feel, between the two divisions. Um, you know, I saw Arash yesterday, who's a physique competitor, come in and do his debut at Classic, and he looks spot on, in my opinion. So it's nice to see a physique guy drop down or go up in division and not only hold his own against the former bodybuilders, but, you know, in my opinion, could be possibly winning the show this weekend. Um, so that's nice to see uh, a physique guy go up and do really but well. you still train legs really hard. I still train legs. Yeah, I've stepped it up since the new division's been announced just because, for my own sake, you know, I want to make sure I know that I can compete at both divisions if I want to. And, it's, you know, neglecting your legs, you know, a lot of physique guys do, but they don't understand that's the majority of your body and your metabolism is going to operate a lot better if you're training your legs, packing on more muscle. You're going to be able to burn a lot more fat a lot, a lot more efficiently if your legs are in shape. And, um, you know, nobody likes walking around like on toothpicks. So I think Phil gave me shit about that last year at this table. So <laughs> I've been definitely uh, been waking my, um, my efforts on leg day, trying them two to three times a week and uh, made some good improvements. But like I said, this year has just been about you know, trying to improve on the package I brought last year. And, you know, I still have holes in my physique that I feel that I can improve on. And, you know, that's just something that we're all about. You know, we never, we're never satisfied with what we bring to the stage. And that's why we do what we do and we love what we do because it's just a chase that's never really going to come to an end. But do you find yourself that you have to restrict yourself from the waist that you use to maintain what you have? Yeah, I train my legs accordingly to keep my waist small. You know, I'm not doing super heavy squats, really heavy deadlifts. You know, I do a lot of pre-exhaustion sets before I do any of the compound motions to help with the... Um, to help keep my waist tight. Because when you're doing those heavy comp com compound motions, putting a lot of external force on your abs and your obliques, and that I feel can make your waistline expand out. So when I'm doing that, pre-exhausting leg extension or hamstring curls, you know, I'm able to go a little bit lighter on the compound movements to still get the work out of the muscles, but keep the waistline tight.